Hello everyone, and this is Delia again, and I have another special little book. This one's called Mickey Campy Camper Day. Does that sound good, Scarlet? Campy Camper Day? Does that sound good? Campy Camper Day. Oh, Scarlet likes camping. She likes that. She likes to see stuff like that. Alright, so let's see. Campy Camper Day. There's Minnie Mouse, and she's pointing at how lovely the weather is, probably. You'll see. One morning in the Dog Hills, Mickey is working on something special to take his friends on a camping trip. What you doing there, Mickey? Goofy asked. I was going to wait for the gang, Mickey replies, but since you're here first, Mickey pulls off the street covering the sheet covering his creation let me present the ultimate campy camper it can pop out tents la launch rubber rafts hand out fishing rods and set up its very own campfire he says proudly but that isn't all it even has a room for as many hot dogs as you can pack says Mickey Triff, says Goofy back in a jiff Goofy returns a moment later and starts packing. This camper's not hot dog heaven. Just then, Mickey's electronic fishing game vibrates and plays a tune. Oh, boy, a new tournament is starting, he says to himself. While Goofy's back is turned, Mickey sneaks away to play his game. All done packing and ready to go, Mickey, Goofy says. But Mickey wasn't here. All, all done packing and ready to go, Mickey, Goofy says. But Mickey isn't here. Hey, where'd he go? Minnie is here, and she's ready to go too, but she can't find Donald and Daisy. Minnie hears a lot of noise coming from the break room and goes to investigate. Mickey can't stop playing his fishing game. Beep, buzz, beep, buzz. Donald is watching a TV show, and now back to the adventures of, and Daisy is listening to a podcast. It was midnight when the detectives arrived on the scene. I see you all are having fun, but we're getting ready to go camping, remember, Minnie says to her friends. Let's put away the screens and let's enjoy our time outdoors with each other. Mickey climbs behind the wheel of the campy camper, and the gang is on their way. Minnie enjoys watching the beautiful countryside go by. They pass rolling hills and winding rivers and a field of wildflowers. But Daisy and Donald miss it all. Their eyes are glued to their screens. Look, see, they're playing silly games. Not paying attention to the pretty outside, are they? They playing silly games and not paying attention outside how pretty it is? The friends soon arrive at the campground. Guess we better start setting up our tent, says Goofy. No need, pal, says Mickey. Step back and let my campy camper do it all. Mickey presses a button and five tents shoot out of the camper, popped up and ready to use. Wow. That sounds like a nice camper, don't it? Minnie and Goofy gasp in excitement. Wow, Minnie says. You thought of everything, Mickey. She turns around, but no one is there. Mickey? Minnie soon discovers that Mickey, Donald, and Daisy are staring at their electronic gadgets again. Oh, no! Minnie can't believe her friends are still obsessed with their screens. Just look at the beauty around you. Like them fishies jumping in a crystal lake, Goofy adds. The gang decides to go fishing together. Real fishing, not video game fishing. Everyone lines up at the campy camper. Mickey pushes a button, and with a whoosh and a whirl, a mechanical hand appears, and one by one, they all get fishing gear they need. Look at them, all got fishing, got fishing poles. Goofy leads the way to a lovely fishing spot at the edge of the lake. An eagle circles overhead. Hiya, Baldy, Goofy shouts. The bird replies with a screech. Rawr! Minnie is delighted. Isn't this wonderful, she asked. Bzz, Mickey's game video game vibrates in his pocket. 
Hot dog, daily reward, he whispers. He can't resist the game, so he hides in the bushes to play for bonus points. Mm-hmm. I like them video games. Donald tips the fishing rod back over his shoulder, then yanks it forward to cast the line into the lake. But the hook gets caught on something. Donald pulls and pulls. Say, what's that big? I what's the big idea? He squawks. Donald pulls harder. The fishing line comes free and sails out over the lake. And on the hook is Mickey's video game. The gadget catches the eye of the hungry eagle, who grabs it with his talons and thinking it's a real fish. Look at that. Donald caught with the with the fishing pole. He caught Mickey's game. Look at Donald. Donald holds tight to his fishing pole. The eagle drags him back and forth across the water, making gigantic waves. The engine tries. The eagle tries to take a bite out of the game, but it zaps him, and he lets it go. Tumbles through the air and bops Mickey on the head. A moment later, Donald crashes into Mickey. Minnie picks up the game and hands it to Mickey. I know you like your game, she says sweetly, but since we're here, let's enjoy the outdoors together. Mickey apologizes and agrees. Next, everyone decides to go for a hike in the woods. Before long, Daisy gets an alert on her phone. Her favorite podcast has posted a new episode. Daisy just has to listen. She puts on her earbuds and starts walking backwards so no one can see what she's doing. Daisy is too focused on her podcast to pay attention to where she's going and she, she tumbles down a slope and lands in the bushes. Everybody helps Daisy back into the trail, onto the trail. Minnie finds Daisy's phone on the ground and hands it to her. These little screens are causing big problems. When the gang returns to the campfire, campsite, Minnie has an idea. Let's all go rafting, she says. Mickey activates the campy camper and suddenly a big inflated raft whooshes out. They all put on their gear and take the raft to the river. Donald sits in the back of the raft and shouts in out directions. Thanks for being our guide, Captain Donald, says Mickey. Donald laughs. That's me. But while his pals are looking at the river, Donald is watching a show on his tablet. The water ahead is rough, but Donald doesn't even notice it. <gasps> He's playing on the toy again. Go get in more trouble, isn't he? Without Donald's directions, the friends paddle wildly in the fast-moving water. The raft spins around and goes down a waterfall and smacks into a boulder. They all drop their paddles. Goofy spots the eagle. Hey, Baldy, he shouts, can you lend us a wing? The eagle swoops down to shore and lands on the campy camper. He leans in an open window and screeches a message. Ah! Translating bald eagle, the camper says in a robotic voice, Mickey and gang in trouble, camper rescue mode engaged. So the eagle they thought was going to cause trouble is helping them. The campy camper powers itself up and flies to the river. It uses sonar to find one of the lost paddles and tosses the paddle to Goofy. Everyone cheers. The camper winks a, winks a headlight and flies back to the campsite. When they are safely on shore, Donald apologizes for not paying attention. Mickey and Daisy are sorry too. Aw, shucks, says Goofy. The day's not over yet. After the sun goes down, everyone gathers around the campfire for hot dogs and marshmallows. It's so nice to just unplug and spend time with friends, says Mickey. The night sky twinkles above. Oh, explain Minnie. I see a shooting star. Everyone make a wish. I wish we could camp out like this every year, says Daisy, and her pals agree. Yay! And that was Campy Camper Day. Did you like that, Scarlet? Did you like the book? Mm -hmm. And the eagle actually helped them. The eagle actually helped them get their get their 
get their stuff ready to get them out of the mess they were in. I hope you all enjoyed this. There will be more coming soon. Have a wonderful day.